Uh, I baked with my mom for four years and during her whole struggle with cancer. So she had breast cancer and this was a bonding experience between my mom and I. Every Sunday we would bake one cheesecake. She loved dessert. She never ate the, the food I would make for her, her chicken, her veggies, but she would always finish her dessert. In 2008, she just wanted to visit me. I saw that she was taking so long to climb up the stairs, and I told her, Mom, we need to check this out. Why are you breathing so hard? The word terminal never came out of my mind for four years. Never. I always told her it was something chronic. We had to fix it. I think it was my enthusiasm for life, uh, the love that I gave my mom, the good food, and there's nothing can, can tell me about that, that that, wasn't, that didn't contribute to extending her life. She baked cheesecake and she fell in love with cheesecake. That's where I think it's in my blood. At my church and my pastor um, said, hey, uh, you might want to start thinking about a business. So I found this place. Every day she comes in my mind of how I'm going to honor her love of cheesecake. Is it a teaspoon of ginger? Is it uh, 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 the, the color blue, that's her, the color, that's her favorite color. Is it a name of a cheesecake? So those are two things. A Haitian girl who loved cheesecake, but who also passed away of breast cancer. I want people to always remember that because I want it to stick in their minds. <laughs>